Welcome back my friends to another lecture. So as I promised we need to link this at the moment they're not going anywhere. We need to link this with actual pages that we created last time. So how we can do this control P and I know that this is in navigation navbar the blade of PHP right and that navbar is where it includes navbar very good and includes is in resources and views. I don't want to confuse you but you can see all of it here right now let's find where this is going to now the reason why we create this list here so we can use the URI like what we have it here now so how we can do this uh, we just gonna use it should close by itself route and I will say about and I think so we are done so let's save it let's check it out now I, if I go refresh if I click about there you go let's do the rest of them so it should be self-closing because I have installed um, some plugin for this one to self-close the brackets so contact and the last one is route and the other the last one is called sir the sys. So this is working because we we named the react the routes, right? So we can easily access them. Now let's go back here, not there actually. Let's go back to about contact. Very good. This is our contact page in services. This is our services page. So everything is look is looking nice. Login is working as before and register is working as it should. So we have created what we need so I'm gonna close this one now what I'm doing is I'm going to create another controller so PHP artisan make controller and this will be landing page controller and dash R landing page controller so okay that is successfully created so it is in the app here it is so I'm not gonna open it like that's control P so if you're using some other different text editor just try finding a way how you can jump through the files so uh, landing page controller here it is now here I do have resources index everything that I need so what I will just do here at the moment I will just link the landing page oops sorry I'm in wrong place just gonna remove this sorry guys she should remind me of the mistakes I'm making just joking landing page now what I will say here return view and we need to return the view after that we're gonna make a lot of more changes let's see what how we name the view landing page so we're going to return the view called landing page and that's it after that we are going to get all of the post and we're going to compact it here that's good the reason why I created with index create and show because our show method is gonna we're gonna use it for the simple blog post right that we have here or blog page very good I'm just gonna save it now one more thing that we need to do is we need to hook it up here the landing page where we need to hook it up in our web web.php and I'm just gonna close it here now so here we do have this welcome and what I'm not I'm not just gonna delete this welcome here so you can comment if you want I'm not gonna use this one to be honest anymore so I'm gonna use it I'm gonna do like this and here I'm gonna pass the controller so landing page controller and I'm gonna pass in the, the our index method and also what I will do I will just name it and I will say landing page cool now this it's not gonna load me the welcome anymore right so when I was going here it's gonna load me the other one in target apps controller landing page controller does not exist 
Okay. Let's see. Landing. Okay, let's copy this one. What's what's the problem here? Okay, landing page. Landing because it's like that. And we have mistake here. Now, what I would do, I would just try to delete our or I can just re we can just rename it landing landing page controller and also landing page controller here right let's save it now make sure that you do have the same name and I refresh now so simple type mistake but it is now when I go slash here it means that I want to go to the home I don't see the welcome anymore by the way control P welcome was this one welcome blade.php here is this one now I'm not sure that we need any more so I'm gonna delete this one welcome if I need it I'm gonna grab it from the other files but we don't need it now everything is working as it should so we do have this landing page we do have the about page we do have the context so everything is working as it should uh, next lecture what we are going to do we are going to deal with probably the users so we're gonna create users we're gonna be able to log in and register them right by the way let's register one Rick Rick at hotmail the password one till nine register very good base table Lara ulti pro users not found very good because we need to do what PHP artisan migrate now we do have this and I and I'm glad that I've done this mistake because I was thinking that we have everything there now in the, if you go open in this one you will see all the users and if you go back refresh and create the password the password does not match okay maybe I've done a mistake and I also the password is not gonna match because my keyboard is missing the number nine on the this one so here it is you're logged in as a user Rick very good let's see here here it is so we have the Rick we have the hotmail the password is hash very good created and updated at it's working like a charm so Laravel Ulti Pro let's refresh it there it is we all do have failed jobs migrations so in migrations they are the create table it call it's it, it it contains all of the migrations we're gonna create right password reset is empty users well, we only have one user very good let's log out and we're good to go Thank you very much. So in this lecture, what we have done, we have just created a landing page controller. I've done a mistake. Also, we have linked this up into the web.php. Here it is. Now, before this was, was the function here when where it was redirecting to the welcome page, which we deleted. Now, landing page index, it's returning just the view in resources views. That's pretty much it my friends so we haven't done very much it returns this view by the way so we're gonna use this landing page later in our project so I think now it's looking up in if we do PHP artisan route list we do have this landing page at the moment so it's called web so that middleware it allows us to see if it was authenticated like our slash home which I believe yep it will redirect to login because where is it is it that one not logging home here it is the home it's web and plus it's authenticated means that every user that is authenticated can access that how beautiful is Laravel so thank you for watching I hope you enjoy it and also we have done the PHP artists and migrate where we migrate the tables in by the way, we do have these migrations here, and we migrate these three tables. Very good. If you want to add one more field here, like a username, you can also do that. 
So thank you very much and I hope to see you in the next lecture. I hope you enjoyed today's lecture and that's it. So take care.